So maybe you started or are just starting out in Dreamlight Valley and you want to know how to maximize your time and your money. Don't worry, I got you. I have 14 tips, including a bonus tip at the very end of the video that's really going to help you do just that. These are tips that are beginner friendly, but also essential for gameplay, okay? You need to know these things in order to maximize everything that you do in the game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, starting off with gardening, your money maker. If you wanna make the most money, carrot seeds. So in order to get the carrot seeds, you're gonna to need to upgrade Goofy stand three times. You'll get the carrot seeds, which you can see are worth 10 gold, okay? Or 10 coins, essentially. So, but when you sell the carrots, they're actually worth 44 coins. So this is a, like an extreme return on your investment. Like this is great early game because this means that you can buy them for cheap and sell them for a lot of money and make a lot of money. So you can see by selling all of my carrots that I have in my inventory right now, I have almost 5,000 um, coins and it only costs a thousand or a little under a thousand for 99 carrot seeds. So the return on the investment is huge. You definitely wanna be planting carrots. It's super easy to do and it makes you the most money starting out in the game. So I would highly recommend this being your focus in the very beginning of the game, especially. My next tip is always, always, always bring a friend, your designated friend for whatever your task you're doing. This case, we're doing gardening, so my designated buddy is Goofy. I'm gonna bring him along as we start gardening. There's two reasons for this. One, because it improves your friendship, as you can see with the purple or pink stars above his head. But two, he also gives you extra carrots, fruits or vegetables, or whatever you're gardening at that time, which are the ones that are popping out to the side in blue. Now, just as a little extra tip, make sure you pick those up um, while they're still blue, because once the blue glow goes away, you have to manually pick them up. All right, tip number three, always plant your vegetables or fruits in the biomes that they have this green arrow over top, which is gonna give them a boost in speed and time that they grow. As you can see, I'm here in the plaza biome and carrots don't have the green arrow here. Tip number four is always pay attention to your glows. As you can see here, I have a yellow glow. You just wanna hit your interaction button as quickly as possible so that you can get as many carrots as possible out of the ground. It's a great bonus. Okay, straight into the next tip. Grab your mining buddy and let's go mine some rocks, okay? My mining buddy is Scrooge because I feel like he likes jewels because he likes money. So bring your buddy along. We're gonna go break down some of these rocks out here. This is what I want you to pay attention to. All the rocks can have jewels in them. So you see this rock here, it looks like it's just gonna give you plain rocks, like nothing special. And it may actually do that. However, some of these actually do uh, contain jewels. So you wanna make sure that you're always breaking down all of the rocks, no matter how they look, because some of them have jewels inside, like this one, for example. And if you have your buddy, you can get a little extra jewel. As you can see, he just got us an extra, <laughs> an extra jewel right there. We love to see it, we love to see it. It's a great way to make money as well. So don't forget to bring your buddy. So now let's talk about fishing. In fishing, you're gonna see three different types of circles in the water. There's orange, blue, and white. So the orange and blue circles usually mean there's a better fish down there and they're a little bit harder to catch. So you wanna make sure that you try to get all of these fish out of the water perfect. And I'm gonna to explain to you why. Because every time that you pull a fish out with no mistakes, which I'm actually horrible at this, I'll, I'll tell y'all that. Um, if you can pull them out with no mistakes, you're gonna get like a little bonus that happens similar to the yellow one that we spoke about a little bit earlier with gardening. So this is my third time in a row, I believe, pulling out the fish perfectly with no issues. So after this, you're gonna see that this, these fish are gonna kind of pop out everywhere in an orange glow. This is a timed little bonus event, so you wanna make sure you run around and try to pick up as many of these fish as possible. And I'm pretty sure this is related to the fact that you pulled the fish out perfectly three times with no issues. If I'm wrong about that, somebody let me know. Okay, tip number, I'm not sure what number we're on, is use your map to find any of the valley members at any time. So if you click on their little icon, you get this beautiful little glow that will lead you directly to where they're at. And most people probably already knew this, but I just, I love this little feature. I think it's so cool. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is cooking. So my tip is to ignore the star rating when you're cooking for energy and just add more fruits and vegetables or whatever you're cooking into the meal because that's going to provide you with more energy. When I make a fruit salad with three fruits versus one fruit, I get like a thousand energy versus with one fruit only having like 500 energy. 
So now let's talk about friendships. A great way to increase your friendships other than hanging out is to gift them with something. So I like to gift the Valley members with fruits or food because everybody around the town just loves food, okay? They talk about food all day long, which I get it, I love food too. But another really important thing that you wanna focus on when you're gifting is favorite things of the day. So you can see here at the bottom, Mickey has some favorites of the day, which are flowers, caramel apples, and spinach. This is gonna significantly improve your relationship if you gift them with those things. Now this is a tip that I think everybody already knows about, but listen, hear me out. You can move anything in the game anywhere, okay? I repeat. I repeat, this is not Animal Crossing. You can move anything, anywhere, all right? So literally you can pick up houses, you can pick up wells, benches, bushes, whatever. Now just keep in mind, with you being able to do this, you can strategically place things in your valley anywhere you want. You can move your house to the beach. You can move all of the plants and vegetables to one area. You can do anything. So this is a great tip for you to just be mindful of to be able to play a little bit more strategically and make things easier on you. So move things where they're easier to gather or move the houses where they're easier to access, whatever the case may be. My next tip is around dream light. So dream light is just like in Animal Crossing's like Nook Miles. The dream light is going to help you access different areas of the valley. It's gonna help you remove the night thorns. So it's really important that you're working on collecting up your dream light as much as possible. You can do this super easy by just going to the menu and checking what things you need to do for the day. In this case, take a picture, change your outfit. It was super easy to do really quick and I got 100 dream light from doing both of these activities. So make sure you're checking your dream light every single day so that you know what you need to be doing. My next tip is to make sure you're paying attention to your collections menu. I'm sure people are doing this, but there's so much information in here that can be really beneficial to you as you move through the game. Memories have little hints in them to help you progress with quests. You can have critter information where you can find specific critters at what time. In your meals menu, you'll see everything you need to create min uh, meals that even meals that you haven't collected yet. All right, I'm gonna give a shout out to Munchie, a community member who shared this tip with me about storage chests. Thank you so much, because this is genius. So storage chests are great for expanding your inventory and keeping your inventory space cleared up. But more importantly, you can place them in any biome, anywhere. And we have cloud storage, which means whenever you're crafting, you can access what you have in your storage chest anywhere. So you can see here, I have 21 softwood, just to test the theory. I'm picking up two more softwood, and I'm just gonna throw them in the storage chest that I have in the meadow. So once I add them into my chest, I go back and you can see now I have 23 softwood. So this is super important, especially early game. All right, now for the bonus tip. This is a tip I figured out while I was actually making this video. If you overeat, meaning if your energy is already all the way up and then you eat another meal, you get a bonus which increases your movement speed. The bonus is called well-fed. So now you will run a little bit faster and you can do things a little bit faster. So I love this because I wish that there was a way to sprint, but this is the closest thing you're gonna get to sprinting. So if you didn't know, make sure you're overeating when you need that little extra boost. So that's all the tips I have for you guys today. Did you learn something new? Did you learn something in this video? I hope so. These are great tips. I think that they're super beneficial and I hope that they help you guys, especially if you're early game or just starting out. This game is so much fun. I'm obsessed. If you guys love it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I go live on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I'm also going to be creating more videos with more tips and information surrounding this game because again, I'm obsessed with it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace. Peace.